Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Visit Olney, Illinois, and you'll notice that this small town is home to an unusual population of snow white squirrels. Something else out of the ordinary in Olney is this flambeau red farm tractor. This tractor is a DC. The D stands for the size of tractor, and the C stands for cultivator. This DC is equipped with 96 inch rear axles. They're extra wide, and since they were extra wide, we decided to put duels on the tractor to make it stand out a little bit more. You definitely don't see many antique tractors with the duels. This 1949 Case DC stands out for lots of reasons. Maybe it's the eight foot wide rear axle. Maybe it's the LP fuel tank or the wide front end. Or maybe it's the fact that when this tractor rolls by, you're seeing the winner of the 2001 Chevron National FFA Tractor Restoration Team Competition. It was great knowing that, I mean, it, you could get that far and that it was one of the best in the nation, the best in the nation. I learned a lot about teamwork during this project, uh, tractor restoration mechanics, uh, how to get along with other people, business skills to try to get the parts that we needed. It's kind of amazing, you know, from what it started out to what it ended up as. I've showed the tractor at the Farm Progress Show once for Chevron lubricants and another time for Titan tires and everybody that walks by is, look at that wide tractor, that is, that is something else. Mark Shearer is a young man who knows his tractors. For one thing, he won the National 4-H Tractor Driving Contest. Skilled as he is at driving them, Mark is equally good at restoring farm tractors with skills learned from his older brothers. They've been restoring ever since I was a very little kid and I learned by handing wrenches Whenever they'd ask for one, I'd get it, and, and it turned out to be a great hobby. The hobby turns competitive when Mark began entering the FFA Tractor Restoration Contest. He got fifth with the Farmall, and then entered a case. This is a 1936 Case RC. I also restored it for the restoration competition and received first place individual at Nationals in 2000. Whenever I won Nationals, there, were, there was a FFA chapter from Abernathy, Texas that had won two years in a row with the chapter restoration. And they did good work, but I thought two years is too many. That's, so we were gonna beat them next year. So it was that a team of only FFA members, four guys and one gal, set to work bringing this case DC back to life. With Mark as kind of team captain, these FFA members worked and learned together. One of the main things I'm gonna learn, or I learned from this project was, uh, you know, working with the other people. It was a lot of fun, and I think everybody pretty well had fun with it. That was that was the main thing. There were a lot of challenges. Uh, we actually had to stay up until 6, 7 a.m. the day of the deadline of the competition, trying to finish up, finishing the book to send in the nationals, uh, driving 95 miles an hour to UPS to get it sent in right before UPS closed. Uh, it was full of challenges, worked together as a team to come through them, and that's what it was all about. The Case DC looks sharp as a tack now, but it was one big bucket of rust before the only FFA team got hold of it. In fact, Mark bought the front and rear end separately, and only later discovered that both pieces were from the same tractor. Whenever we, we put the skeleton together, which was kind of the engine and the transmission with the front and rear axles on it, just sitting there on the ground painted bright orange, it looked, it looked like no other tractor I'd ever seen. It was, it was kind of awkward looking, but we knew it would turn out really neat. Bit by bit and piece by piece, hundreds of hours were spent restoring the tractor. In the fall of 2001, the long hours paid off and these hard-working FFA kids from Olney were national champs. It was just a great time with the other members that went with us, getting to see everyone else that was there from around the nation. Getting to spend the time with the four people I worked with, hard to get there. It was a great experience. Tony always came out dirty. I mean, I really don't know how. Even whenever we were doing the finishing work and everything was painted, he would still come out covered with grease or just anything. I, he really had to put some effort into getting dirty every day. I would like to say I was the dirtiest because I was doing the most work, but the truth is, is because I'm not really the cleanest person. I, I wore the same outfit for the entire year basically and 
Mom didn't want it to get washed and get the washer greasy, so I just kept the outfit there. The team still likes to get together to take turns giving the tractor they restored a little exercise. And for Mark Shearer, even though he's got two national FFA tractor restoration titles, his case of classic tractor fever is a long way from cooling off. Yeah, I think I'll be a lifelong tractor collector. It's, it's just a great hobby, and right now I've probably got 10 or 12 tractors and my brothers combined, we probably have over 140. So I don't think we have to buy anymore, but we'll be restoring for the rest of our life, that's for sure.